In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the maximum speed of a bike riding over a semicircular bridge. The question reads, a person on a dirt bike travels over a semicircular shaped bridge with a radius of curvature of 45 meters, as shown below. Calculate the maximum speed of the bike if its road wheels are to stay in contact with the bridge. Now the reason why that last part is important is because if this biker would speed up too much, then they would lift off from the surface of this bridge. We'll discuss that further in a moment. So of course, every object that is on the ground is exerting a force due to gravity, and we can represent that by this vector right here. Remember, the force due to gravity can be calculated using Newton's second law, where force is equal to the mass times acceleration, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. So rather than writing down 9.8, I'll just simply write down g, so m times g. That is the magnitude of this vector. Now you'll notice in this diagram that there's also another vector that is going directly upwards, and that is your normal vector. It's denoted here as the reaction from the ground. Remember that any force that something exerts on the ground, there is an equal and opposite force exerted by the ground on that object. So if the bike is pushing down on the ground, the ground is also doing the same thing. And this is why we show the normal. In order to find out the speed, we need to take the difference between these two vectors and make it equal to the centripetal force that is being exerted on this biker. The centripetal force can be calculated again using F is equal to M times A, but A, which is the acceleration, gets replaced with V to the power of 2 over R. This is the formula for the radial acceleration or the centripetal acceleration. So what I will do is take the difference between these two forces and make that equal to the centripetal force. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll take mg, this expression right here, and subtract it by the normal vector, which the diagram has denoted as r, and make that equal to this expression, m bracket v to the power of 2 over r. Now before I continue, if this bike were to speed up, it would eventually lift off from this semicircular surface. And if it's lifting off from the semicircular surface, then R becomes zero because the ground is no longer pushing up against the bike. So let's assume that we maximize V to a point where R becomes zero. That being said, R becomes zero in this case, and we have mg is equal to m v to the power of 2 over r. If we solve for v, these two m's, given that they are factors on both sides of this equation, will cancel out. Just pretend that we divided both sides by m. They would cancel out. g can be replaced with 9.8 meters per second squared. v is what we're looking for, and r is 45 meters, which was given in the question. Let's solve for v. Multiplying both sides by 45, cancels out the 45, and we have 45 times 9.8, which is equal to 441. We will square root both sides to get rid of this squared value, so square rooting. Remember, when you square root a number, you're going to get a positive and negative version, but we only care about the positive here, so the square root of 441 makes positive 21. 21 meters per second is the velocity, let's bridge it back to what we were doing here, is the maximum speed of this bike if its road wheels are to stay in contact. Anything greater than this value will result in it lifting off the ground. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate the maximum speed of a bike riding over a semicircular bridge.